and welcome stage, Rehan Islam. I'm starting to get a bit concerned about Drake. I feel like he's becoming a bit entitled in his relationships, specifically about one thing, about women texting him back immediately. Like, he seems obsessed with this. Now, the first time I caught on to this was, I remember a few years ago, he had that song, One Dance, you know, I need a one dance, that one. So he, he has this line in it, as soon as you see the text, reply me. All right? Now, you know, maybe... His lady friend is at the gym, she's on the treadmill, right? And she gets a text, she's like, all right, I'll get back to him in 10 minutes. But no, as soon as you see the text, reply me, right? A year later, he had a song called Portland, right? And the song starts, my side bitch got a 5S with the screen cracked, she still hit me back right away. Now, a couple of things, right? First of all, this is his side bitch, right? Why is he being so demanding of her, right? Like, <laughs> like not my girlfriend, not a, a girl I'm seeing, not even one of the girls I'm seeing. No, she is rank ordered in, Dr in the list of Drake's women as the side bitch, right? But no, as soon as she sees the text, she must reply him. So, secondly, her screen's cracked, right? So, of course it's going to take her some time to make out what he's saying, right? It's like, I mean, she'll be squinting to read and, um, you know, I, I mean, Drake will be texting away like, I, I wonder, he probably sings his texts, right? He's probably like, girl, don't leave me hanging, crying emoji, SMH, my jumbo jet needs landing, aubergine emoji, LMK, and you can be one of my bitches, bitches, right? Send. So, now, you may be thinking... I'm spending too much time thinking about rap lyrics, right? And you would be right, actually, it's becoming a problem. Uh, see, because, you know, we, we live inside these narratives that we create, right? And uh, they in, we interpret the world through these. So think about when you were a child and your mom tells you, like, uh, why don't you pick up those toys, right? And you respond like you're Spider-Man, you just go, Pfft. Right? Because that's your frame of reference for the world, right? Like, you, you believe you are the superhero. So. It's a bit like that with me, like when I, when I get angry, I believe I'm a rapper and I'm living in a rap song and I have to, have to respond as a rapper, right? And uh, it, it's affecting my life now, like it's, uh, it, it, it's, affecting, uh, it's affecting my work. Um, so, look, I, I used to work in a bank, right? And um, uh, I, I got passed over for a promotion one year, so I got in this confrontation with my boss. Um, you know, and, uh, and he, so he was like, um, all right, look. I do value the work you've put in, but I just don't think you're up to standard, right? You really need to step up from here. And, you know, that's when it happened. It started to kick in. But it doesn't kick in all at once. It kind of ramps up slowly. So uh, it, it starts more like a spoken word kind of thing. You know, I go, I don't mind that I sold my soul. What I do mind is I sold it cheap. <laughs> and I'm fine with giving you control over me, but this is not the price that we agreed. <laughs> <laughs> so, he looked a bit confused, right? He was like, why are you talking like that? Right? And I go, I gave you my life and the graveyard shift. In return, I expected a crib, maybe some security for me and my fam. I want to leave my folks at least five grand. <laughs> he, goes, <"Well." laughs> he goes, well, look. This financial quarter was quite tough for the firm, right? We're just coming out of a recession. We can't really be splurging on bonuses at this point, right? But in my mind, like, I'm not listening to facts and rational arguments at this point, right? Because in my mind, I'm going deeper and deeper into this rap song, right? So I just go, who are you kidding? Who are you ripping off, setting off a chain of events you be regretting, dog? If you don't pay me more than your competitor, gotta start thinking about quitting, getting a better job. Now, <laughs> Now, this is when he starts to get angry as well, right? But the more he reprimands me, the more I get triggered until, in my mind, I'm in a full-on diss track, right? Like, so, so he goes like, all right, don't push it. I am still your boss. Who the fuck made you the boss anyway? 
Talk a big game, but I wonder how you play. I heard you lost a lot of money back in the day. Why the fuck do you decide what I get paid? I'm enraged by the fact that I gave what you asked and I slaved away on every trade that you planned and I made you the cash that you paid for the jag and I still ain't got a motherfucking pad. Ugh, I was fuming, right? I, I was fuming and I, I was thinking about all this recently, right? And I, I think I just felt like underappreciated because, uh, it, the, 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 like, you know, he would send me an email at like 10 p.m. and if I if I don't respond by 10:30, I'll have another email saying this is quite timely. Can you respond, right? And uh, it, I, you know, there were other people in the team who got promoted, so I was just feeling like bitter, like over this. And I, I was reflecting a lot on, on on all of this, and then I thought, oh, wait a minute. He was sending me late night emails chasing me. I was feeling underappreciated compared to my colleagues. And then I thought, oh my God, my boss was Drake and I was the side bitch. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, how did you